Hey everyone, DIY Darren here. We've got a second review on the Skag 30 inch SFC. SFC is the Skag finish cut. So I posted an initial review right after I bought this mower, um, but we're up in the Northeast and when I got it a few weeks ago, none of the grass was really uh, ready to cut. So now I've had it out. Um, I mowed three properties with it today. Let's see here, we've got um, just shy of an hour on the hour meter, just about at one hour. Uh, I started with a full tank of fuel, and I know I still got some fuel, I didn't run out. Oh, looks like probably three quarters in there still, so for one hour that's not too bad. It's got a one gallon capacity. So I will say up front, this is going to be a mixed review. There were some negatives I really did not like. I was pretty disappointed in, um, but also some positives. So I guess we'll go positives first. Um, it is a commercial quality deck for sure. So you get that um, commercial quality cut with it. I was very happy with the cut at um, the first two customers. Um, it looks, you know, it, it could have been my V-Ride stand-on that I had cut it with. Um, it came out that good. So another positive is these casters. I pointed those out in my initial review. So this has the caster option. But if you put them like that, it has this magnetic pin. You can push it down in there with that wheel lined up. And it locks the casters as a fixed wheel. And then you can pull it right back out, set it up in the front, and it goes right back to being a caster. So I used that feature today. Came in extremely uh, handy. I was at a larger property where I had to mow. There's a lot of outline mowing along a creek bed. And I got to a part where it was about a 45, 50 degree angle. And it dawned on me to, to pin those casters. It worked beautifully. Um, you get those pinned, you have so much more control when you're side helling. So that worked out really, really well. Uh, definitely a positive feature. So on to the negatives. <laughs> At the third property, as you can see, it was pretty wet there. Um, you know, I'm filming this right at the end of April, 2023. So we're definitely still in our wet season here up in the Northeast. I'm just outside of Buffalo. And it, the mower really struggled on just minor hills because these would dig in. So I'm mowing, let's go check. It out. I believe I'm at a, exactly two inch that I had it cut for that customer. You can see where I've got my pin set here, third notch up, two inch. Um, so it is relatively low to the ground. You know, usually for most customers, you're mowing two and a half, two and three quarters, something like that, even three inches for some. But those definitely caught um, on the ground, especially when you were going uphill. And then the weight of the mower deck, it would immediately start spinning the tires. You can see they're just caked, these back, the drive wheels. So I ended up tearing this customer's lawn up quite a bit. Um, luckily, like I said, it's the wet season, it's gonna grow back, but very disappointed for the type of quality that I usually give to customers. Uh, to have these hard plastic wheels just literally tearing up the ground um, and those. Now, I did see in somebody else's review on YouTube that these in this model year, they just changed these to be removable just for that reason because they catch. I think they're just extra guards to keep grass from building up on the wheels. As you can see, they, they didn't really do that great of a job. Um, so these are going to come off uh, before the next review. I'll be taking these off before I even go back out with the mower on both sides and see if that improves the situation. But what I think is the bigger issue is that what I initially thought was a positive for this mower is turning out to be a bit of a negative. And that is this heavy duty deck. So if I remember right, when I read in the owner's manual, it's way this whole mower in its entirety weighs somewhere around 220 pounds, give or take. And I thought this heavy duty, as they call it, military grade steel deck was great. You know, it's a commercial quality deck. It's what you'd see on a V-Ride or a zero turn, but it's just too heavy for this mower. Um, the minute that the mower gets into trouble, those plastic wheels start ripping up the ground. And it's because there's probably 
You know, if this weighs 220 pounds total, um, you know, it looks like about two-thirds of that is probably in front of the wheels. So it's it doesn't seem to be balanced well, or maybe it's the, the tread on the tires. Um, in future reviews, I'll let you know what I think it is. Um, this is just after cutting three times. So, all in all, a mixed review. Um, oh, there was one other thing I forgot. At one point, <laughs> the mower stalled out um, at that customer's house. It sounded exactly like when you run out of gas, which I knew I hadn't. So I lifted it up, and it had stalled out from grass clippings that had got um, caught up under the deck. Now, I do have the chute closed off for sure. Um, so some stuff was was getting clogged, but when I banged the mower to get out what was in there, it didn't seem like that much grass. So I was a little surprised that it stalled. So I'll be keeping an eye on that to see if that becomes a recurring problem too. But all in all, um, you know, gives a commercial quality cut. It's got its quirks, um, but uh, you know, a good mower. So click subscribe down below and go Bills.